Lee Macmillan checking in from Mars. As always, I'm the first one up and out of bed, and welcome to Peru. We are at a little beach town called Jacama, so we are back at sea level after crossing the border in the mountains. Our first two days in Peru have been driving. As we have mentioned in the past, we'll mention again, we are speeding up our travels a little bit because next video, we will be with our special guest. So we put in two good days of driving. We are back at the beach. We are eight hours north of Lima, which we will be heading to Lima in the next couple of days. This place is a very special place that has been especially on Max's bucket list for a very long time, and we will show you why. How's it looking out there? Windy, but it looks fun. It's a little bit smaller than the last couple of days. Look at this thing. Seems like every day here is a wind tunnel. So we've just snuck in to hide from the wind for a little bit. The surf is working, but we're just gonna give it till after breakfast, I think. Lee, what are you whipping up over there? Some pancakes. Although we are oh, missing yeah. maple syrup and We'd love if we could get maple syrup in Peru, however, I don't think it's going to happen. If anyone wants to send us some maple, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. And so, Chicama itself, the town here is pretty much built around this surf break. There's not a whole lot else to do and essentially lined with places for surfers to stay. The wave is amazing in that it's considered one of the longest waves in the world. And not only that, it is a left-hander, which is perfect for goofy footers like myself. But Considering this is our first video ever in Peru, which I think, Lee, we should still take a moment to appreciate the fact we're in Peru. It is crazy. Every country farther south we go, we still think, wow, we never thought we'd be here when we first started in the van. So some of you might not be aware, but when we left in 2017 on this journey, we left from Canada and we actually never knew we were even going as far as Mexico and just... You know, country by country, we've just kept going. Let's just let's just see what the next country's like. And so far, it's been amazing. But every country's been different. Lee, what would you say your first impression of Peru was? We crossed in the mountains, and it really surprised me to see how tropical it was in the north of Peru. For the mountains, there's palm trees and rice paddies. And it just wasn't what I was expecting. It's kind of what I picture Bali to look like, at least the Bali that I've seen in photos. Max confirmed my assumption, so I guess it does. Yeah, it was like Bali, but surrounded by epic mountain ranges. like you nailed this batch. Yes, yes. I can't take credit for the recipe itself, but I mean, it did nail it still. While our wishes were granted, we invited our neighbor Denise over for breakfast and she brought some maple syrup with her. So Denise, welcome to our van. And Hi. she's our neighbor camping beside us. And the cool thing is, is that we realized that we were both in Baja about the same time in December, 2000, December 2017. 17, yeah. Which is crazy that we've met them for the first time in Peru. 
on the coastline. And is this your first time? Not your first time in Peru either? No, my no, third time. Third time. And you're third. from Mexico City? Yeah, from Mexico City. Thank you. But when we did would have crossed in Baja, we were heading south and we were, you guys uh, were going yeah. north. So they've yeah. gone north all the way up to Alaska? No, we no. wanted to but it was like, oh no, this is too cold. Yeah. <laughs> Turn around. Yeah. 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 It was we like you. in, um, I think it was California and then we went like the other way, you know, like the oh, way yeah. through Utah, Colorado. That makes sense. New yeah. Mexico. Yeah. I think the, the you gotta see a good amount of national parks that way though. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, super good. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to... San Francisco, that was it. And then, yeah. turn to <laughs> like, the right, and like, no, no, no. this is too cold. It's wow. funny because when we were driving down, we were we got froze out in BC, and then we just drove and drove and drove until we got to the California border, and yeah. it was finally sunny. We're like, ah, this is perfect. Yeah, and, perfect. and then getting to Mexico, that's why we stayed for so long. So we're like, this is perfect life. Weather. This is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah. have to show off your rig if the wind permits. Yeah, yeah. Richard is the one that it makes the tour, like yeah. the official tour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Richard's out in the sea. Yeah, actually yeah. I think we can see him right there. Alright, there's Richard. Having a great wave. So, this wind seems relentless. We are going to go for a surf either way, and that's right, I said we. Lee, how confident are you feeling? Not totally confident. It's the first time I've put on a thick wetsuit in a while. Be prepared for some resistance. Oh, you gonna surf? Hells yeah. I'm a little bit nervous because this happened the other day. It's just a kiss. This is ridiculous. Let's do it. That was difficult. I don't know how Max and every other surfer out there does it. The current is very strong and the wind seems even stronger. I'm exhausted and I did one lap. So Max is gonna go do a couple more. No, not me. Hello, my love. How was it? This wind is extreme. Uh, it was good right up until the end. And I just came off a wave and the GoPro strap broke. And we lost our GoPro. Mm. Which really sucks. I feel like we're having quite a bad run at the moment. At least you're okay. It was gnarly out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like... Obviously it's replaceable, but it just sucks because it had footage on it. And looks like we're getting our guests to bring a GoPro. After spending about an hour mourning over our GoPro, we have decided just to move on and not talk about it anymore. So, Max just recharge your phone. How'd that go? Uh, kind of. So he couldn't figure it out, but I think I might have figured out a hack that Peru has in that there's an option for only 10 souls, which is what, $4, mm. you can choose unlimited gigas, unlimited gigs for the day. Oh, let's do that. I've already done it. It's, it's working. Well, I think so, which if that's the case, that's unreal because we can do that every time we need to upload videos. All right. Upload well, everything. that is a big win. So our day is turning around. Huh? Finally, yeah. We've decided to head inland to a market to refuel on food and water. Here's our haul from the market. We have a bunch of vegetables and fruit. And despite saying no to plastic bags many, many, many times, they just kept filling them up. So whatever, we'll reuse them as our garbage bags at least. This entire haul of vegetables and fruit costs us $2.80 US. And I want to introduce everyone to Richard. He's our Hi. neighbor here. I'm 
we want to show you off their rig because they have a really cool setup that we've never seen and it's very very different from ours so first thing i guess is you guys are driving your truck you had first correct right we had a truck and we used to do the rooftop tent yeah and then uh, we used to cook in the bag and uh, we store everything inside but we had too much stuff so we wanted to you know, so have time, a trailer time to so we could carry the boards so you guys actually took the inside you sleep on the inside of your trailer as well as this is your cooking area and then this is that area i think this is so cool and you guys do have ac you should hook up to when you have short yeah, power see, yeah, with the and then clothing the area the player there yeah that's so awesome. It's quite spacious. It looks no, it's, uh, wider than our bed. It's a uh, queen size. Queen size, yeah. Queen size, Ours is only it's double. And yeah. this is Aki's new Hi. best friend. Hi, Hi Uli. Hello. Oh, so yes, yeah. it's all pretty. Oh, wait. There we go. Max was like, <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, Oh, they're, okay. Well, there you go. They are best friends now. Chef Max, what are you cooking us up? Just a uh, potato medley with some veggies, with broccoli, tomato, garlic, onion, just uh, something to tie us over after the paddle and the surf and to help make us forget the go -go. What are some of your first impressions of Peru? Uh, well, obviously it's early days for us. We've only been here about what, five days. But I would say probably the first thing that I've noticed is that the locals up here, at least in the north, don't seem quite as, you know, they don't give off quite the friendly vibe that we're getting in Ecuador and Colombia and a few of the other countries. But that may also be partly due to Peruvians we're finding the hardest to understand in terms of their Spanish out of anyone. They seem to really blend their words together and it feels like we've taken a step backwards in our Spanish language because, yeah, we aren't understanding everything that they're saying. As well, it seems like our days of super cheap diesel are over. It's now 12.50 sol per gallon, which works out, we think, to be about three US dollars a gallon. So it's back up kind of US prices, kind of expensive again. Ecuador was nice, but it's free. Thank you. And come again. This little guy, though, he's been sleepy and quite sad since his best mate Uli left him. About an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's all humped out. It's so funny. Whenever Aki has the opportunity to be with another dog, he does expend all of his energy. And then some dogs that he falls in love with more than others, he takes it really hard when they leave. Perils of traveling, Ock. Yeah. Perils of traveling. I was up and waiting. You made me. We were messing around. Watched in a navy. Like the nineties, baby. Throw them on the ground. I want you to believe that. Let's blame the weather. mentioned we are leaving bright and early tomorrow we have an eight hour day to drive so we're hoping to hit the road at six I think we're gonna wrap that one up here oh, cool. that was close yeah it's been so, <laughs> so weird trying to film this whole video being confined to the space of the van because of the wind noise but I think we've pulled it together Hopefully you agree. Make sure you give it a like if you do and tap that notification bell. As well, now that we are in Peru, we love hearing all the suggestions you might have of this country, what to see, what to do. We have a fair amount written down if you've commented in the past, but we're just welcoming anybody else who wants to leave some suggestions about what to see. Yeah, let us know. And uh, RIP GoPro shit happens, but yeah, we're still dealing. With fingers that. crossed, we're gonna get it covered by travel insurance. We're gonna figure that out. Some of you might laugh and go, "Ha, good luck with that," but we're gonna try our absolute hardest. Yeah, 
Otherwise, I hope you're all very excited to see what Lima's going to be like and... Who our special guest is. Who our, more Woo! importantly, who our special guest is. I feel like we've been pumped this up and the video's coming. It's going to be great. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. My name is Lee McMillan. I am reporting to you from Mars. <laughs> Do it again. Okay. My name is Lee McMillan and I am reporting to you from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Lee McMillan checking in from Mars. <laughs> What's the weather up there like, Lee? Well, let me tell you, the sun is going down over here at Mars and hockey is just going crazy with the aliens. And it's windy as shit and it has been for three freaking days. the sun, so let's go. The surf, still highly recommended. In, uh, and so Lee, and so Lee, why don't, and so Lee, what would you say was your, all right, so we've come in to hide from the wind for a little bit, all right, so we've come in to get out of the, good morning everybody, good morning everybody, good morning everybody, as always, I'm the first one up and out of bed. <laughs> Do you think that's funny? <laughs>